Hello, my name is Elias Lobin. I'm an expert and dealer in authentic ancient Greek, Roman, Biblical, Byzantine coins and artifacts. I run a website called TrustedCoins.com where you have access to the time of the making of this film, a wealth of information along with over 6,700 items that I have available for sale in my store. Every item I sell comes complete with a beautiful, professionally looking certificate of authenticity. This certificate of authenticity provides you with a lifetime guarantee of authenticity and my signature. Worldwide, I'm known as a numismatic and antique expert that has identified over 28,000 authentic ancient coins and artifacts over the years. Every coin that I sell, by the way, this is a silver coin of Roman Emperor Augustus, the first Roman Emperor, comes in a professional numismatic flip. It allows you to look at the front of the coin and the back of the coin without taking out the protective covering. And it has a miniaturized description with an uh, a individual item number that matches the certificate of authenticity. So you could take this part off to carry it with you, show it to your friends, uh, put it in a safe place, and then you can put them back together. Uh, the, the description is professionally done, so many times citing a major reference or collection. But on the back you get the historical uh, information about the coin that you have purchased. So whether you're brand new to the collecting field, you would like to find out more, or, or if you believe that this makes a great gift or a fantastic investment, you may want to check my site out, trustedcoins.com. Today I'm going to be discussing Roman Emperor Gratian. I have many coins of Roman Emperor Gratian in my store. This is what Gratian looked like. You see, you can actually read the letters uh, Gratianus. That's how you read Roman coins. So, for his biography, Gratian was Roman Emperor from 375 to 383 AD. Gratian was the son of Emperor Valentinian I by Marina Severa and was born at Sirmium. He was named after his grandfather Gratian the Elder. Gratian was first married to Flavia Maxima Constantia, daughter of Constantius II. His second wife was Laeta. Both marriages remained childless. His stepmother was Empress Justina and his paternal half-siblings were Emperor Valentinian II. Gala and Justa. During his youth, Gratian accompanied his father in several campaigns along the Rhine and the Nubi frontiers. Upon the death of Valentinian in 375 AD, Gratian's brother Valentinian II was declared emperor by his father's soldiers. In 378 AD, Gratian's general, generals won a decisive victory over the Alemanni at the Battle of Argentovaria. The same year, his uncle Valens was killed in the Battle of Adrianople against the Goths, making Gratian essentially the, the ruler, ruler of the entire Roman Empire. He favored Christianity over the traditional Roman religion, refusing the divine attributes of the emperors and removing the altar of victory from the Roman Senate. Gratian promoted Theodosius I on 19th of January 379 AD to govern portion of the empire. Gratianus and Theodosius then declared Illyricum of barbarians in the Gothic War. They then cleared Illyricum. For some years, Gratian governed the empire with energy and success, but gradually sank into indolence, occupying himself chiefly with the pleasure of the chase and became a tool of the hands of the Frankish general Merobods and Bishop St. Ambrose of Milan. Gratian, under the influence of his chief advisor, the Bishop of Milan, Ambrose, took active steps to repress pagan worship. This brought to an end the period of a widespread, if unofficial, religious tolerance that had existed since the time of Julian. He confiscated the personal possessions of pagan priests, which also lost all of their privileges and immunities. Gratian declared that all of the pagan temples and shrines were to be confiscated by the government. Gratian took into his personal service a body of Alans and appeared in public in the dress of a Scythian warrior. A Roman general, Magnus Maximus, raised the standard of revolt in Britain and invaded Gaul with a large army. Gratian, who was then in Paris, being deserted by his troops, fled, 
fled to Lyon. There, though the treachery through the treachery of the governor, Gratian was delivered over to one of the rebel generals, Andragathius, and assassinated on the 25th of August, 383. So visit my site, trustedcoins.com, to find coins of Gratian and others. Thank you.